Hello and welcome everyone to this channel. My name is Kumar Saurabh and today in this video tutorial, we will learn about the introduction to Python SciPy. Let's see what we are going to cover in this video. First, we will know about introduction to Python SciPy. After this, why SciPy is used in Python. Then we will understand what is different between NumPy and SciPy. And we will also learn about how to install the SciPy. At the end, we will know how to import and use the SciPy library. So before moving, let me tell you that we have detailed post about SciPy on our website pythonguides.com. The link to the post is given in the below description. Now move to the first topic, what is SciPy? SciPy, which stands for Scientific Python. Travis Oliphant, the developer of NumPy, created this SciPy. SciPy like the NumPy library is open source and free to use. It includes several modules like optimization to find the optimal solution from all possible solutions, linear algebra to deal with vectors and matrices as well as vector spaces and linear transformation, interpolation to calculate unknown values between known data points, FFT which stands for fast Fourier transform. This package contains mathematical method for converting a time function to a frequency function, signal this package is used for alteration or analysis of signal. Image processing. This package helps in applying various operations to an image in order to create a better image or extract relevant information from it. Integration. This package helps in solving mathematical integration problem. The next topic is why SciPy is used in Python. The SciPy library is based on NumPy and functions that are regularly used in NumPy and data science have been improved and added to SciPy. That's why SciPy is used. Let's move to the next topic. What is the difference between SciPy and NumPy? With the help of NumPy, sorting, indexing or other basic operations can be performed with the data. Whereas SciPy can perform complex operations with the help of function like solving numerical method problems. NumPy has a lot of methods or functions. But these methods or functions are not explained in very detail. But SciPy methods or functions are defined in very detailed version. NumPy has the concept of an array that stores the same kind of data or objects. Storing the same kind of data refers to the concept of homogeneity. Whereas SciPy doesn't have any concept related to an array, it is based on function and methods. So it also doesn't have the concept of homogeneity or is not being limited to the homogeneity. NumPy is faster in computational speed because it is written in C language and we know that C is very close to machine level language so it is faster but SciPy is slower because it is written in Python and Python is a high level language that takes time to execute the code in comparison to C language. Now move to the next topic how to install SciPy on different platforms. The SciPy can be installed on different platforms like Windows, Mac and Ubuntu using the command pip install scipy in the terminal or command prompt. Let's see how to install scipy. Before installing scipy, make sure you have already installed the python. If you have already installed, then you can skip this part and jump to the part of installing scipy only. If not, follow along with me. Open the website on your browser and type the URL www python.org Head to the download section and download the latest version or the specific version of the python that you want to install. After downloading, locate the file and install the python on your computer. So when you click double click on python file the window launched that you can see here. Mark the checkbox add python 3.10 to path and click on install now to install the python on your computer. Now python is installed successfully on your computer. Now close this window and open command prompt on your computer. Type cmd now, in command prompt, type python. A 
as you can see here it shows python 3.10.4 this is the latest version that we have installed now now move to the next part of this video to install scipy close this window again now open the command prompt or terminal type the command pip install scipy this command installs the scipy in the current environment or directory of your computer hit enter now we have successfully installed the scipy in previous section we have learned how to install scipy now in this section we will learn how to import and use the scipy library to import scipy library we use the import command let's import the scipy in the command prompt and access the sum of the functions or method of this library open the command prompt or terminal type the command python to enter into the python interpreter import the scipy library using the command import scipy as s now check the version of scipy using the command sc dot version dot version as we can see the version of scipy is 1.8.1 suppose we want to access the method norm that exists in module lineage so we will type here scipy dot lineage dot norm but here we have given an alias name to scipy library that is sc so we will use here sc dot lineage dot norm we have successfully imported the scipy library and used the scipy library method and in this video tutorial we have covered what is scipy difference between scipy and numpy how to install scipy and how to import and use the scipy i hope that you have enjoyed this video tutorial and learned lot of things so at last i want to say that don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and thank you